So hello everyone, Happy New Year's. Uh, this is uh, January 1st, 2022. And um, I have not necessarily made resolutions, but what I do do around this time, I do I take a lot of time to sort of reflect on the uh, you know prior year and um, you know the goals I set last year and how far I've come and all this other stuff. Actually, I haven't done that yet, but <laughs> I have started to write down my goals for 2022. And um, it's been things I've been thinking about for the last few months. And so I wanted to share because uh, that commitment entails a more uh, media <laughs> production, more content production. And um, in that vein, I'm here with the ring light. <laughs> so I'm trying, hello, I'm trying uh, to uh, increase or improve my production value. Um, but one thing I want to do, or several things I want to do, is uh, monthly um, video content uh, for both my blog and social media um, to be shared across my social media. Um, and what I'm thinking of, uh, last over a year ago, I started a, a Bible study series on Zoom um, with a friend of mine. And uh, uh, I've since had someone ask to do um, another study uh, with them and I wanted to do it. Um, I just haven't had the time um, to commit to it because I've been also rehabbing a property um, and that's been taking up most of my um, time and resources and energy and all that good stuff. But um, I, I do want to get back to Bible study. Um, so I am planning on doing a monthly commitment of a Zoom Bible study um, at least once a month. Uh, the last time I think we tried to do, uh, you know, every two weeks, um, and that lasted for a few months, but um, I think it was taxing on the people who wanted to participate. Um, and um, I was, you know, once I started studying, I sort of deep dive, so it, it you know, took some time. Um, and uh, I was at home <laughs> full time, so I had the time to commit to it. Now I'm not. <laughs> so. I think once a month would be great. So if you're interested in that, uh, please email me. Uh, you can email me from either any of the social media um, uh, accounts that I have at Harvest Lifer on Facebook. Don't do Facebook. I'm really not on Facebook. But on Instagram or Twitter. I'm more active on those two um, recently. Or on uh, WordPress at harvest, harvest-life.org um, or at Shonda at harvest-life.org, my email. Um, and let me know, you know, if you want to get the Zoom invite, I can email it to you directly. Um, how I did it in the past was basically, uh, we would have the conversation, you know, who, whoever wanted to participate, and I'll post down my blog. Um, and even though I had low participation in the conversations, the blog posts have been the most um, visited items on my blog all of 2020 so uh, meaning that the blog posts of the zoom conversations of the bible studies that we had have been viewed <laughs> and liked more than anything else on my blog this past year um so you know i think there's interest um just shy people um so i'm going to try to you know do something i normally don't do which is cater i'm going to try and cater to the shy people and share the content that you're obviously interested in but you necessarily don't want to be a participant of so we'll see what you know what that produces this year um so that's one a monthly bible study two would be um i want to start conversations um and uh you know, perhaps interviews. So right now it's uh, a Zoom or Twitter spaces or some other space where there's audio in case people don't want to be on camera. Um, I, I'm resisting calling it a podcast, but it may become a podcast. Um, and um, the topics I want to sort of sort of cover uh, is, is relationship because I'm I've always talked about relationships and interpersonal interactions and things like that. And so what I'm interested in exploring with these conversations is healing, um, trauma, um, love and forgiveness. So, you know, ideally love and forgiveness will be the headliner. And how do we heal ourselves from personal or interpersonal uh, trauma or traumatic 
events in our lives and how do we continue to move forward so um, as always my focus will be on uh, moving forward <laughs> not staying stuck we can't stay stuck so um, that's one thing so I'll be reaching out to uh, people within my network uh, on various social media platforms and asking them if they want to participate in these conversations and um, uh, see if I can interview other people um, and uh, I will you know just stop, drop a real hint here a lot of the conversations will be around topics that I've written about in my uh, various books so uh, men and women are both welcome single married you know you know in between whatever um, are all welcome um, it's not going to be based on any particular demographic I'm just looking for human interactions with humans so that's where we're at um, and the other thing uh, I would like to do because I'm now um, doing uh, a home rehab full time uh, I want to sort of share the process with people um, I, I don't know if I shared um, broadly on my blog or anything but a couple of years ago I got my real estate license in a couple of states and I thought I wanted to do real estate um, and this is the thing about transition and um, growth and exploration and evolution and revelations and all these things about life right is that you sort of try something and that you you know you're interested in and you see where it leads and so uh, you know I've never been a salesperson. I, you know, walked into real estate knowing I wasn't a salesperson and uh, realized I s still don't like <laughs> being a salesperson. But what I do like is learning about real estate and sharing about real estate. And so um, I think that um, I've seen a lot of people within my own circles who have not necessarily benefited the way that they could from the properties that they've owned. Um, and, uh, I sort of want to explore that, you know. Um, I think I, I grew up certainly with the idea that, you know, um, uh, home ownership was the goal of citizenship or residency of any any kind. Um, the goal was always to own a home, and after owning a couple of homes, I'm like maybe that shouldn't be the only goal. Like there need there needs to be some fleshing out of that goal and some additional information on how how to maintain and how to you know sort of grow your you know bottom line with property ownership so I sort of want to explore that space and probably share some conversations and some um, materials to sort of help people in their own home ownership journeys whether they are renters owners um, landlords wherever you may be um, I think that there will be something in this in this upcoming series that will benefit everyone so those are my um, content goals for the coming year 2022 um, please hold me to it <laughs> Please, I implore you, uh, pay attention, comment, engage, because uh, with no engagement, I'm like, whatever, ain't nobody expecting nothing, I don't need to do nothing. But with a little bit of engagement, folks, you know, I, I, I am paying attention. Obviously, I know that you guys are visiting, um, uh, even though, you know, I'm not getting comments, I know that there's interest. Um, so I want to sort to, you know, respond to that by providing more, uh, more of the things you're interested in. So with that being said happy 2022 um what uh, the the schedule for this I'll, I'll work on this weekend but and consider this the first video of all those things by the way <laughs> i'm gonna make it easy for myself if i can so basically um i want to do one of those each week uh so you know averaging three months three weeks in a month um, I'll have probably have a dedicated week for a Bible study a dedicated week for a conversation slash interview and a dedicated week for a home um, home ownership information so you know if you have any other suggestions if there's anything any particular topics in any of those areas that you would be particularly interested in please just share let me know I you know I I want to be in conversation with you um, that's what I'm all about relationships interactions and trying to be as human as humanly possible with other humans <laughs> so God bless you I hope the year is off to a great start and that you're not burdened or keeping yourself held down by life you know things happen but still we rise be blessed